Our conquest of the Imperial City is underway, soldier. Are you prepared to do your part? That's the spirit. Our sappers have established a forward base in the city's sewers. The position is defensible, but they need more troops. The Daedra are dug in like Horvors, and the Covenant and Dominion are making steady gains. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Report to General Neshtan when you arrive. She can give you a more thorough briefing. With your help, the city will be ours soon. Three protect you. Another recruit? We are glad to have you, friend. But I warn you, the city makes Cyrodiil seem like a midday wallow in a salt meadow swamp. There are things here that would rattle his roots. Steal yourself. I'm glad to hear it. Our gains have been... modest. A warrior of your skill and experience is most welcome. The Three Banners are vying for control, but in truth, the city belongs to the Daedra and their mortal lackeys. It is vexing. I would prefer to focus on our rivals in the Covenant and the Dominion, but there are many fish in Blood River. Where to start? We cannot cast a stone without hitting one of our enemies. The Daedra have corrupted every root and brick in the city proper. If we ever hope to claim the city, they will have to be dealt with. The sewers are just as bad. Worse. When you find yourself in the middle of a lake, does it matter which shore you swim to? Enemies are everywhere. One dead Daedra will do just as well as another. Go and wreak havoc. Once we have thinned their ranks, then we will march on the tower. Ah, one more thing. There is a woman here in the city. A Dragon Guard warrior calling herself the Drake of Blades. She has brought us valuable intelligence, but her motives are too murky for my liking. If you meet her, be watchful. Meet me among the tradesmen. Quickly, if you please. No charge to have a look. Is it true Uthrad was stolen from Fallowstone Hall? Your general was telling you to keep an eye out for me, right? Here I am. Right. I'm sorry. Introductions should come first. I apologize. I am the Drake of Blades. Blades, yes. I'm a member of the Dragon Guard. Or I should say, the true Dragon Guard. We were driven underground by the Empress Regent Clivia. Just as well. We are sworn to serve the true heir of the Dragon. She is certainly not that. I'm conducting an investigation. The only investigation that matters. Your friends have provided a great distraction with all their fighting and dying. But I've hit a wall and... I need help. I wouldn't ask if it weren't important, believe me. Because you're not an idiot. You're not an idiot, are you? Sorry. I'm looking into a plot. The plot. Molag Bal is looking for something. Something... Powerful. I fear that if we don't find out what it is, we'll all pay dearly.
Truthfully? No, not yet. But we can change that. I need an extra set of eyes and ears. You look strong, reasonably capable, assertive, so on and so on. If we pool our assets, we should be able to foil Molag Bal's plans. In the districts, there are six in all. Molag Bal has tried to cover his tracks by scattering his operation, hiding it in plain sight. But he's prideful and sloppy. He's left clues. We just need to find them and piece the puzzle together. Simple. Your clumsy militiamen have staked out routes to the drainage system. They rolled out ladders to mark the entrances. The hub is just over there. Can't miss it. It's filthy, but surprisingly efficient. So what do you say? Will you help me? I can understand if you're dubious, skeptical. I would be. All I ask is that you go to the districts and stay watchful. I'll do the same. Small beginnings and such. Simple. If you're half as capable as I think you are, we'll be meeting again soon. So, you're making a stupid face. I'm assuming you have questions? Sorry, it's not a stupid face, it's just... Never mind. I, I have d difficulties. It's a simple misdirection. All members of the Dragon Guard have assumed pseudonyms. There's a Drake of Shields, a Drake of Staves, and so on. It gives us the freedom to act in both plain clothes and uniform. That's a question for the leadership. I like to think it reflects on my keen intellect, but I have no idea. It was probably random. Then again, the Drake of Crowns is a clumsy, short-sighted ass, so maybe there's something to it. Royalty. Of course I am. Am I... I'm being awkward, aren't I? I apologize. I'm, I'm not very good. With people, I mean. I usually just avoid talking to people entirely. This is the longest conversation I've had in months. Something like that, I guess. I'm perceptive. Gifted, they say. I can tell when someone's lying or anxious or plotting something just by looking at them. But it's too much sometimes, especially when they start talking to me. Yes and no. For better or worse, it made me who I am. I couldn't really talk to people, so I had to learn about them through observation. It honed my senses, made me focus on the little things. Details. That's a valuable skill in my profession. Are you joking? Oh, you're not. No, I'm not interested in petty border disputes. You're still being serious, aren't you? No, I don't care who claims the city. The occupation could last for 20 days or 20 centuries. Doesn't matter. When Akatosh's heir arrives, the old order, all of it, will be swept away. We all are. But that's barely relevant at this point. Let's focus on the Daedra, all right? Blast! There must be something edible in here. You are... Whoa, wait! I'm not with Molog Ball's army, I swear! Not all of us swore oaths to Legion Zero when they betrayed the city. My commanding officer, Captain Caudex, marshaled what forces he could after the insurrection and took the Forum. Turned it into a garrison. We're holding on, but we need help. You've seen the big building that still flies Imperial colors, right? That's us. At least, the eight of us that remain. It's been a tough few months. I don't care which banner you fight for. We need your help. At least talk to Captain Codex. I'll catch up. I've got to scavenge what I can before I head back. Food especially.
We're all a bit tired of smoked rat and boot leather soup. Handed it right over to that necromancer, Manamarco. I'd love to put a sword through his throat, but no one's seen him for months. He'll turn up, and when he does, we'll be waiting. Anyway, most of the surviving Legion serves Molag Ball now. He wasn't the only one. He's just the only one who survived. Manamarco had any officers who refused to fall in line captured and executed. Obviously, that didn't go well. The Legion ate itself alive, brother against brother. We thought we were winning. For a time. Then they brought in the Daedra. First it was Captain Nadara in the Arboretum. Then Lieutenant Hodorus and his soldiers in the temple. Slaughtered the very same afternoon. They're all that's left. Sounds impossible, right? I can't say I haven't questioned it myself. Still, the captain would have my throat if I spilled all our secrets. Seems your best bet would be to ask him yourself, friend. Hold your fire! That might be a survivor! Expect to see any mortal faces today, not living ones anyway. You must be new, provincial militia, right? You've got the look of one. The Covenant, the Pact, the Dominion. The bull headed armies tearing each other apart on the fields of Cyrodiil, while Daedric beasts lounge on the throne. If you've come to ask me to join my banner to yours, you could walk right back out that door. Zell. He always sees the best in people. That's why I had to drag him bleeding out of a legionary stockade. He couldn't believe our superiors would betray us and hand the city to Molag Bal. Me, I see the worst in people. That's why I'm still alive. I didn't say that. Desperate times demand flexibility. Molag Bal's lapdogs are preparing for another assault. My soldiers are exhausted, and the door braces are near to breaking. We need help. If you're willing to fight, you'd have my thanks. Our weak points are blocked doors on the north, west, and south sides. Zell's scouting for attacks, so if he thinks the Daedra are going to hit a door, he'll mark it with a sigil. Look for that sigil and wait. Zell will update you whenever he can. Through some of the best soldiering I've ever seen, these soldiers are lions, stubborn as high rock mules. We've also been lucky. Very lucky. I figure we've made things so damn difficult that the Daedra have found better things to do. That almost sounds like you don't trust us. Don't worry, the feeling's mutual. But for now, I need you to send those Daedra back where they came from and protect my people. We'll talk again after the assault. If you live through it, of course. Check the north door. I saw Daedra headed that way. Did you? 
That was some damn fine soldiering out there. Nothing I didn't expect, but it's refreshing to have something go right. I suppose it's time for that. It's all due to a scroll. Old magic. Just before Molag Ball's assault on Imperial City, a group of priests unearthed an ancient scroll they claimed dated back to the time of Saint Alessia. Never asked where they found it. Do I look like a priest? All I know is one of them, Father Ignatius, was obsessed with it. He brought it to me and urged me to keep it safe. I wrote it off as nonsense until I had my first dream. It came the night before the city fell. I saw the Empress Regent and her generals taking Molag Bal's hand. I heard creaking chains and smelled charred flesh. Then I saw the scroll. It was just out of reach, covered in blood. Woke up screaming. After that, I knew I had to keep it safe. Like I said, it carries some kind of enchantment. Magic strong enough to bring us back when we fall in battle. It's not pleasant, mind you. And each time I come back, I feel less like myself. But it's kept us fighting. Simply put, we can't die. So long as we hold the garrison, so long as we keep fighting, yes. Zell's taken to calling us the Immortal Eight. Nonsense, but I'd let him do it. It's good for morale. There's more. Some of the dreams that scroll sent me involved you. These were prophetic dreams, like the one that warned me of the invasion and betrayal. I dreamed you would come for the scroll, along with a masked woman. I knew we had to protect it for you, so we have. Now you should take it. It's for both of you, but her especially. I can't say more. You'd best go find her. Somehow I'm certain this scroll is key to stopping whatever Molag Bal has planned for our city. Keep it safe. I have a feeling we'll be seeing each other again soon. This war is far from over. Until then, watch your back, soldier. Honestly, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. This building used to be a forum, did you know that? Just bricks and old ledgers and broken chairs. But now it's something more. This garrison is the Empire. I'll see it defended, whatever the cost.
Indeed, it's like shedding warm clothes in a heavy snow. We just get meaner, colder. The first time I died, I was crushed by a siege engine. The next day, I just woke up, muddy, but no worse for the wear. Old Maxima almost had a stroke. This garrison, this city, is all that matters. I will grind whatever grist the mill requires to protect it, even at the price of my soul. Some of us are more conflicted than others, Arianus especially. But he fights on anyway. We all do. You're back. Good. I just finished looking through some of this correspondence and... Wait, what's that? A scroll? It looks ancient. Where did you find it? So that's how they did it. I've been watching that garrison since the beginning. Caudex is difficult to read. Talented, but stubborn. Honestly, I'm surprised he gave this to you. I'll hold on to it for now. We'll find a use for it eventually.
much to speak about. The rat was entertained, almost entertained. The Daedra, not so much. No, they weren't entertained at all. Yes, yes. The rat has ears to the ground, ears to the walls. My little friends are everywhere, and they hear secrets whispered by Daedra, big and small. Tasty secrets. <laughs> These Daedra plot and whisper, you see, and the rat listens. He always listens. They speak of the dragon fires. They seek to snuff them out forever, oh yes! The rat heard this quite clearly. No dragon fires ever again. No more dragon god promises. No more eight blessed emperors in shiny hats. Just death and slavery forever. For now, only for now. Don't you know the story? When Alessia's heirs wear the Amulet of Kings, the fires will burn again! Even a mighty Daedric Prince must hide from such a light. Unless Molag Ball erases them, of course. <laughs> Unless that happens. You beg the rat to share all his crumbs? No, no! The rat has said enough! You want more, greedy one? Find the Drake of Blades. She's close, very close, down in sewers. She would like to nibble on this crumb. Oh, yes. Tell her the prince's plan. No, no, you've had your fill. No more secrets. Off, off with you. Oh, the rat doesn't call himself the rat. The people call him that. I call him that too, but that's because I'm a person. People get us confused sometimes. The rat doesn't know why, though. And frankly, neither do I. The sewers, of course. That's where most of the rats live. The rat was tired of being down there, though. A long, long time ago, before he was the rat, he remembers being up here in the city. He even had a friend. He was a trusted advisor. Oh, Emperor Leovic. He was a sharp one. Such a good sense of humor. Until he died, of course. That's when his friend took him down to the sewers. The Emperor wasn't very fun anymore. But then the friend met the rat. That made things better. No, no, that wasn't me. That was someone else. I'm the rat, you see. I didn't even know the Emperor before he died. And now, well, the rat and the Emperor don't really get along anymore. I might pay your friend Kaudex a visit now that you've smoothed things over. We can always use more true believers, especially immortal ones. The rat? Yes, I met him once. He was wearing a mask made from someone's small clothes and was covered in his own sick. He's completely mad. Then again, he has a talent. He knows this city better than anyone. And he's quiet. Very quiet. Your face. You believe him, don't you? Perfect. I admit, it makes sense. The dragon fires are the key to ejecting the Daedra permanently. If Molag Bal could extinguish them forever, that would be very, very bad. We'll have to keep digging. At this point, we stay patient and watchful. Also quiet. If Molag Bal catches our scent, we may lose him completely. We have motive now, but the bones of a plot aren't enough. We need plans, names, timetables. Keep watching. I'll do the same.
You haven't seen any legionaries that seem out of place, have you? He'd be shorter than I am, lean with very little head. My contact in Legion Zero, Captain Regulus, is missing. He's sharp, tenacious, a good man, I guess. Anyway, I haven't heard from him in weeks. He drank that Cold Harbor brew to maintain his cover. I'm afraid it may have gotten the better of him. We use a system. When I want to meet, I draw the seal of the Dragon Guard on a wall near the thoroughfare crossing. That's the signal to meet in the sewer hideout. I'll mark it on your map. I'm not convinced he'll show, but he's valuable. If you see him, please tell him how angry I am. Or maybe disappointed is better. Just whatever. You know what I mean. Use your imagination. I'm difficult. He could simply be avoiding me. No, of course not. He's a consummate professional. He wouldn't let something like that interfere with his duty. He's always taken my peculiarities in stride. It's weird. I have two theories. One, he has been captured. Or two, he's determined that a meet is too dangerous. I have a hard time believing that he's been killed or captured. He's far too clever for that. His work is clean. Cleaner than mine. The corruption. Members of Legion Zero are forced to drink a foul potion. It's an initiation of sorts. It makes them aggressive, erratic. He probably doesn't want to endanger me, my mission, I mean. He might be less concerned about hurting you. your distance. I'm sorry. I don't know how much longer I'll have control. Nice to meet you, too. Do you always lead with indelicate questions? I tend to introduce myself first, first impressions and all that. Sorry. It's been a long week. I'm Captain Regulus. I'm assuming you're working with the Drake of Blades? I figured. I'd have met with her before, but it's getting too dangerous. I can feel myself succumbing to Molag Ball's corruption. I thought I had it under control, but... Listen, the Daedra have found a key. An ancient door, deep beneath the city. I've heard the leadership talking about it. Nothing solid, just whispers about a relic locked up tight. I'm tempted to simply steal this key, but... I think we'll have better luck if we make a switch. I made a key mold. It was a risky play, but I was running out of ideas. If you can make a false key and switch it out with a real one, it should keep the Daedra off your back for a while. Give you a chance to learn more about this relic. Yes. I'll give you the mold. If you can get your hands on some scrap metal from these soldiers, you should be able to cast the key in the Western Forge. Once it's made, we swap it with the genuine article and no one is the wiser. Although, if it's fresh from the mold, it won't look as worn as the actual key. After you've cast it, bring the fake key over to the laboratory on the northwest side of the district. You can give it a good acid bath there. Some pits and scars will sell it. When you've got the key ready for the switch, meet me at the groundskeeper's storehouse. We'll go over the rest of the details there. You'd better get moving. The more time you take, the more time there is for things to go wrong. Right. 
like that. I had to drink the blood of Cold Harbor to maintain my cover in Legion Zero. Tasted like a dead man's breath over ice. I wouldn't recommend it. It changes you. Not just in body, but in mind. Antidotes, potions, herbal remedies, anything I can scrounge up. It's not pleasant. If the corruption doesn't kill me, these remedies will. That only gets me so far, though. It's really about willpower. And even that has limits. Stubbornness, mostly. I can still be useful. Plus, I don't want to give them the satisfaction of turning me. They'll find me out eventually, of course. When they do, I'll have my dagger ready. First for the one who outs me, and then for myself. There you are. I was beginning to think you'd been caught. Are you mad? How do you think? I'm... I'm sorry. I'm keeping together. Don't worry about it. Did you make the false key? They've locked the key away in the old counting house. A Zivkin named Zolgar the Brutal keeps watch over it. I'll unlock the door and distract him while you slip in and make the switch. When it's done, meet me back in the sewer hideout. What is the meaning of this interruption, wretch? My watch is more important than your inane reports. Apologies, Exalted One. This report is urgent. I have reason to suspect that there may be a spy in the ranks of Legion Zero. One who plots the downfall of the Legion and its masters. A spy? I am charged with the protection of a great prize. I have no interest in petty mortal schemes, you half-witted cretin. As you say, Exalted One, I merely thought it would be to your benefit to learn of this first. If you prefer, I can take the news to one of my other masters, though it would pain me to see them take the glory in your stead. Glory, you say? My lord Molag Baal does have a special distaste for traitors. Hold a moment, Captain. Perhaps I can spare time for this so-called plot. Tell me about this spy. I will see you duly rewarded for your loyalty. I dare not say it out loud, my lord. Ears are everywhere, you know. Anyone could be listening. Whisper it to me, then. 
Who is this spy? They must be made to suffer. The spy's name is Captain Regulus. Any problems with the switch? I hope not. I can't quite pull that off twice. I'd say I don't know what came over me, but I do. It's the corruption taking hold. I... I killed him. But at least it was behind closed doors. This will work to our advantage. There will be infighting as they try to figure out who murdered Zolgar. Bring the key and this report to the Drake. It's everything I have written down on what we accomplished. As for me, I'm too much of a risk now. I'm losing control of myself and I can't be allowed to tell them what we did. You and I both know what needs to be done. Thank you for helping me complete one last mission. Oh, and when you see the Drake, tell her... Never mind. Just look after her, all right? Made it back. Excellent. Did you find Regulus? What did he have to say? A key. May I? Well, it's certainly old. Seems like Regulus has some theories. Gods, his penmanship is atrocious. Luckily, some of the iconography seems intact. Between that and Regulus's notes, we should be able to deduce its origin. Something with a lock on it. I'd say a door based on the size. Perhaps a very large box. I can guess more if you'd like. Sorry. There's something about a relic in his report. Wait, did you say his final report? What happened to him? Oh. Yes, of course I am. Why are you looking at me like that? Stop it! He was dead as soon as he drank that poison. We both knew that. I just thought he was going to hold on a bit longer. It's... it's a shame, that's all. So, yes, I'll hold on to the key for now. I suspect we'll need it sooner rather than later. Thank you for recovering it, and for finding Regulus. I'm glad someone was there, at the end. came to her with his... Oh, well that's colorful. Mara's mercy, what a waste of paper. The cane and the something. Something... It's fiction. Useless. But it's still part of our heritage. We have to keep it safe. The Daedra have been torching every book they can find. All except one. It's a tome of some kind, kept locked away. I have no idea, but it must be important. I tried to get Sergianus, the chief archivist, to smuggle it out for me, but he bungled the job and got himself captured. He'll no doubt need rescuing. Start with the book, though. It's in a strongbox nearby.
You need to get that book to the Drake. I managed to mask its contents with a magical cipher. Find the ciphers. There should be four of them. Bring them to me in the archives east of here, and I will use them to translate the book. Hurry! Thank the Eight, you've made it! Barely got past the Daedra myself, but this place seems safe enough for now. It's called the Sublime Brazier, written by a moth priest just a few years after Saint Alessia passed. Of course, this is just a copy of the original text, which was damaged during the Colovian secession in the 24th century. Oh, right, I'm sorry. Your guess is as good as mine. When they came to the library looking for it, it was all I could do to garble the text with a distortion spell before they got through the door. But now, with the ciphers, I can undo the spell. Here now, I I'm an archivist, not a... Look, all I know is it has something to do with the dragon fires. I didn't have time to read more before I had to cast the spell. Are you ready to help me translate it? done. Gods, how exhausting. Glad I never joined the Mages Guild. I just don't have the talent for this. Hey, judging by the soot on you, I'm guessing it's done. That or you took a fireball to the face. Excellent. May I have it, please? Whatever it is, the Daedra must think it's important. Sublime what? Oh, well, that's troubling. Did you read this? You can read, right? The sublime brazier is a relic the Emperors used to light the dragon fires, those mystical flames that keep the Daedra from entering our world. But it doesn't make sense. The Dragon Guard should know about this, should be protecting it. They obviously have plans for this brazier. They must be looking for insights into how it works, weaknesses. I suppose we should be thankful that they didn't destroy the book. I've got a lot of reading to do. For now, we stay watchful. This book is obviously connected to a greater plot. I'll be in touch once I figure out what the Sublime Brazier has to do with the invasion. So yes, I'm reading now. Can you go, please? You're in my light.
mortal wandering here of its own volition. And it can fight. A daring soul. Perhaps you'd like to help me complete my day's work. I seek to attack this prison. Lay low the Daedra who run it. Why does your kind do anything? Perhaps you want to see what spoils you can mine from this place. Or maybe you want to help the mortals track deep below. Your kind has such baffling sensibilities. So many. Held for torture, for parts, for amusement. You can't hear the screams from up here, but I assure you, they are uttered. I'll lead you to the prisoners if you'll assist me in my day's butchering. Information has a price, little mortal. Head inside, slay the overfiend, and anything else that bars our way to the inner halls. Then we'll talk. He was like you once, mortal and small. But the aura of this place changed him. You'll see. His death is necessary if we're to reach the inner halls. You'll find plenty of prisoners to free if you survive. Perhaps they can serve as distractions as we move deeper. Every Daedra here will come to stop you, little mortal. It holds prisoners, as it always has. But the torture chambers below have been made exquisite. They belong to Lord Baal now, run by his trusted lieutenants. It should have been my clan in charge. One thing at a time, mortal. Let's see how far you get. The Overfiend is waiting. Have we? You mortals all have the same awkward growth for a face. when we stick your head on a
Your will to survive is impressive. With the sculpture gone and none to command the prison's flesh constructs, the Warden's sword is broken. There are wretched mortals in cells up ahead. Free them if you must, but you face the Gravelight Sentry next. Can't you tell from his name? You mortals think in such three-dimensional terms. Watch your tongue, mortal. I'm sure you've noticed the myriad watchers that surveil this place. Through these children, the sentry sees all that we do. Useful in the operation of the prison. Slay it, and the warden will lose his eyes in these halls. I wondered if you would live long enough to ask that. You have proven most amusing. They wronged me. I've come to wrong them back. You are powerful for a mortal, but surely you jest. We Daedra have established practices, and I required a third party. Let's leave it at that. We've wasted enough time. Intruders are coming, Lord Warden. You've allowed them far enough! Fail here, and I'll feed you to the abomination!
In my experience, flesh atronachs are tools of the dim-witted. Get moving. The way out is ahead, past the last cell block. Warden is dead. His prisoner is freed. What fun this has been. You've done well for such a fleeting creature. I have found a new and very slight respect for mortal kind. You live to fight another day. Treasure it. I have much work to do. Someone's going to have to look after this prison for Lord Ball. This trinket is for you. I've infused it with the animus of the great Lord Warden. Take it and go. We're through here, mortal. Your presence is no longer required. It would be you to leave. Watching them turn over graves. The worm cult, I mean. It's an ugly business, isn't it? I used to come here to clear my head. It was quiet, peaceful. Now it's full of these idiots. Shame. They're raising the dead. Most are being outfitted as soldiers. Something's off. I've been watching one group in particular. Branded skeletons digging in random locations. They're clearly looking for something. I just don't know what.
Necromancers often brand skeletons to bind them to a specific task. In this case, digging. If you can steal a Daedric brand and a chapel key from one of these cultists, we might be able to discover what Molag Bal and his skeletons are digging for. Any one of these cultists could be carrying the Daedric brand or a key to the chapel, so happy hunting. I have to track down a lead of my own. Once you've branded a skeleton and heard what it has to say, meet me in the Undertaker's office. I'm not sure what you mean. They reanimated dead people. I actually quite like skeletons. It's a shame they're so repulsive and dangerous. I'm sure that sounds bad. Please remember, I am not a crazy person. They never lie. Spycraft is all about observation. Scraping away lies to find the truth. I'm very good at it, but it makes my head hurt. Skeletons are what they are, and that's it. It's refreshing. That doesn't make them any less dangerous, though. It's quiet and full of skeletons. You shouldn't be disturbed there. The worm cultists were storing bones there for a while, but now they tend to avoid it. Locked it up tight. It's not all that surprising. It still smells of incense. It feels holy. Well, I also hanged a few of their leaders in there, right over the altar. That made an impression. Why are you making a face? Oh, sacrilege, right. The Eight will understand. After all, it helped keep the cultists out. Ends and means. Simple. Ever handled a cattle brand? Same principle. There's a hot end, press it onto a skull. Should be a simple matter of waiting for the skeleton to assemble and make its confession. Don't worry if the skeleton falls apart. These things take practice. Right. The brand binds the skeleton to a single, very specific task. Once you've set the mark, the skeleton should recite the details of the task aloud. That will tell us everything we need to know about what they're looking for. Yes, and also no. It should be like an echo of the caster's will or something. Honestly, I don't know all the details. I don't make a practice of casting spells on dead people. I just read a lot. Seek the Dragonfire Cathedral with pick and spade. Smother, choke, and quench the light by Molog Ball's will. Obey. map or things will go very poorly for you. Are you listening? Hello? Oh, you're dead. Typical. You made it. Excellent. 
I am sorry about the mess, but this cultist was not very forthcoming. All I got was this map. What did you find? Dragonfire Cathedral? Are you sure you heard that correctly? Skeletons aren't all that articulate. Hmm. That must have been disconcerting. It's a legend. Folktale. Like Arke's magic breaches. According to the story, Alessia received a vision from Akatosh in one of the old Aeliad shrines beneath the city. Her followers tore it down and built a cathedral there. The cathedral is supposed to be the resting place of Akatosh's second gift to Alessia. A powerful relic. What the relic actually does, I have no idea. Morlog Bal must be after this relic. That's why he's looking for the cathedral. The map I took from this idiot points to the crematorium. I'll bet that's where Molagbal's skeletons are digging now. Honestly, I'm not convinced that the Dragonfire Cathedral is real, but we can't take the risk. We have to stop them. We demolished the dig site. Worm cultists have been using concentrated kindle pitch to clear rubble. The Zivkin Soulbranders have been distributing it since they arrived. If you can acquire some, we can use it to destroy their operation. Once I've finished disposing of this body, I'll make for the crematorium. It's probably full of cultists. I'll try to thin the herd before you arrive. By that, I mean I'm going to kill them all, in case that wasn't clear. None that he was keen to share. He did a lot of begging, sentiment. I learned a lot about his mother, for instance. I don't know why people always talk about their mothers. It's probably my fault. I've never been a very good interrogator. do on short notice. Set the Kindle pitch before more of these cultists arrive. That's sure to draw some attention. Meet me back at your Alliance base once the coast is clear. look awful. I'm sorry, that sounded bad. You look unkempt? To be honest, neither of us should have been standing that close to an explosion. My ears are still ringing. So, Malogbal's dig is completely destroyed, yes? Excellent. This will buy us some time. If the Dragonfire Cathedral actually exists, we need to make sure it doesn't fall into Malogbal's hands, right? Yes. 
Take this for your trouble and stay in touch. There's more to Molag Bal's plan. I know it. to pray, did you? The temple district is no place for pilgrims, not anymore. I'm sorry if I seem distracted. I lost something. Who? When the anchors fell, I made contact with a priest named Ignatius. He's old, with very distracting teeth, but wiser than most. I'm certain he can help us stop whatever Molag Bal has planned for the city. Unfortunately, he's been captured. Not yet. Molag Bal obviously knows his value. They don't keep him in one place for long. Daedra have been torturing the city's clergy near the Shrines to the Eight. We should split up and free these priests. Hopefully Ignatius will be among them. Meet me in the rectory when you're finished. It should be safe there. Now stay low. You don't want to be strung up like the rest of these dolls. We're just going to find Ignatius and get out of here, right? We're agreed? Just nod. Yes, of course I am. Is this really relevant? We have work to do. I don't see that it's any of your business, but this is obviously going to become an issue. This place makes me uncomfortable. The Temple District, I mean. Well, I should clarify, the people here make me uncomfortable. Religious people. It's the expectation. Everyone is supposed to act differently here. They don't know how to do that. Out in the world, life is messy, but not here. Before the invasion, it was so clean and everyone was so polite. It's all pretense. I hate it. No. No one does. Not really. The Nine Doctrines provide very clear instructions. They're concise, simple. But I kill, and spy, and steal. It's my profession. I could act like I keep to their commands, but that would be lying. And I hate lies. Veneration is not the same thing as obedience. Every moment we spend squabbling about theology is another eternity of torture for these priests. Let's just get back to the task at hand, yes? Yes. I already told you about his teeth, didn't I? Sorry. Ignatius is very wise. Confused, but wise. He's a priest. Religion is all about elevating what you can't see over what you can. It's absurd. Even so, he's a genius, or near to it. Had the ear of some Imperial counselors before Men and Marco hedged him out. I know he can. I wouldn't waste time and resources on him otherwise. I don't make a practice of saving useless people. You know that. That came out wrong. All people are sort of useful. I guess... I don't know. I'm just trying to be polite. Julianos give you wisdom, my friend. Farewell.
Hey, bless you. You must hurry, friend. They drag Father Ignatius to the Temple of the One. He is the wisest of us, the most pious and kind. Please save him. It's about time. You didn't find him either? Damn, we may be too late. Well, that complicates things. Do you know how many Daedra are guarding the temple? It's somewhere between a lot and too many. Unfortunately, we don't have much of a choice. People don't last long in there. We have to strike now. Plan? No, I don't think we have time for that. We'll have to improvise. This is where I'm supposed to be encouraging, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'll create a distraction. You slip in during the confusion. Slay Ignatius's captors and escape. Simple. Make sure Ignatius makes it to safety, extract any information you can, then meet me back at your Alliance base. He definitely knows something. I'd help you question him if I was, you know, not me. So it goes. Good luck. Escaped. Thank the Eight. The Daedra know about this place. We shouldn't linger. Yes, yes, I'm all right. Just need to catch my breath. You have my deepest, deepest thanks. I only wish more could have been saved. The Drake's in true. Mara bless her. In truth, I don't know much. 
Malog Ball's Inquisitor Zoltos Vale was asking all kinds of questions about a scroll we recently discovered. I told her I didn't know anything. She wasn't convinced. Eight, forgive me. Yes, and no. I found it tucked between some of Maroc's polemnics just before the invasion. I've spent the better part of 30 years in those archives, friend. To find this scroll just days before the anchors fell, it can't be coincidence. Arcane references, ancient symbols. It's not an Elder Scroll, mind you. It's nothing so majestic. But there is power in the text. Of that, I am certain. Alas, I had to part with it. But don't worry. It is in good hands. Given time, yes. At the risk of sounding vain, I doubt there are any other priests in the city who can unlock its power. It's in the gaps you see, the syntax, the text beneath the text. The eight guided me to this scroll. I must find out why. Freed Ignatius, yes? I'd hate to think I was coursed down like a hare for nothing. Well, with or without the scroll, Ignatius is an asset. He speaks a dozen dead languages, can read a dozen more. He knows the city better than I do. He's also remarkably spry for an old person. We'll find a use for him. Given all that we've uncovered, I think Molag Bal's plan is clear. He wants to breach the Dragonfire Cathedral to destroy the Sublime Brazier. If he succeeds, the Dragonfires will never be relit, and Mundus will be exposed to Daedric attack forever. Well, Captain Kaudax has pledged his soldiers to the cause. Father Ignatius is examining that ancient scroll you recovered. We also know the Cathedral's location, and we have a key to help us gain entry. I'm sure we can come up with something. This is going to sound stupid. Truthfully, it is stupid, but I don't pick our allies. I found a rodent with a map tied to its tail. A message from that vagrant, the rat. He's apparently left us an urgent letter out in the sewer. Can you find it? While you retrieve the rat's message, I'll coordinate with Father Ignatius and Captain Caudex to chart out our next move. By the time you return, we should have a plan in place. I can't guarantee it will be a good one. Do you really expect me to explain? Oh, you're joking. You're joking, right? Petty Mora. Hurry. <laughs> You're back. Did you find the rat's message? Well? Sorry to be... I mean, I've just had to do a lot of talking. My ears are ringing, but I'm all right. Don't look so sour. I think we have a plan. Why is it sticky? 
forget I asked. This is just a list of his favorite nursery rhymes. I don't know what I expected. He's a filthy lunatic who... Wait, it's a cipher. Well, this is troubling. Unless this is some inane practical joke, it seems that General Molivis is already on his way to the Dragonfire Cathedral. Fortunately, he's stuck using the front door. We should be able to use the key when Regulus recovered to sneak in the back. Right, that. Father Ignatius finished translating the mysterious scroll that Caudex gave you. Apparently it details some bizarre ritual that can only be performed in the cathedral itself. It imbues mortals with incredible power, even immortality. There's a catch. The volunteer is bound to the Dragonfire Cathedral forever. They exist only to protect the sublime brazier. I'm sure you can imagine that's not a very appealing commitment. Could be worse. Plenty of time to catch up on my reading. Of course I am. Kautex insisted at first. I think he was trying to be chivalrous or something. Because I'm a woman, I mean, he's an idiot. Anyway. He'd go mad within a week. Too much of a people person. I'm the obvious choice. Captain Caudex has already gone ahead with his soldiers to prepare defenses for the cathedral. When you're ready, we should follow them. It's not exactly close and this ritual is going to take a while. Which bit? The ritual? I guess so. Does it matter? Honestly, I have no idea if it's even going to work. I heard Ignatius practicing his pronunciation and muttering. Doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. Of course I don't want to. Just because I hate talking to people doesn't mean I want to live alone in a drafty underground cathedral forever. Don't be thick. The fact is, it doesn't matter what I want. The brazier needs to be protected. End of story. I appreciate the concern. This is concern, right? For my welfare? It's... Well, frankly, it's baffling, but I appreciate it. I'm sworn to protect the Emperor. Without the Brazier, there is no Emperor. It's simple math. No use brooding over it. General Molibus is Molag Bal's chief enforcer in the Imperial City. He's a Zivkin. Which is to say, he's a comically evil blowhard. But he's a skilled warrior, and a master tactician. Almost caught me a few times. He's tenacious, and very, very tall. They didn't skip. Molivus brought his entire elite guard. I hope you got more than planks and nails, Caudex. They haven't breached the doors yet. Akatosh is with us. I sent soldiers ahead to barricade the doors. They'll hold. I'm just not sure for how long. Ah, oh, you miserable ones! Let's begin Watch the your ritual at once. Exactly. Hurry inside. my soldiers outside to cause some havoc. Keep the Daedra off guard. I'd bet they're doing just that. The time has come, my friend. You must kneel before the brazier. Right. To show humility. Obedience. I can do obedient. Just watch me. Lord Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, a faithful supplicant kneels before you. She has served you for many lean years. Let her service now be everlasting. Grant her your divine power. Bless her with the strength to defend this holy cathedral and the will to endure a life of seclusion. Drape your exalted wings around her and your works will be... Hurry it up, Father. Molag Baal is knocking. Don't rush the man, Captain. But yes, Ignatius, you really should hurry this up. 
Assault the cathedral! Destroy the brazier! Leave none alive! This ritual cannot be interrupted. You must hold the cathedral until it is complete. Go! Follow me. Let's go send these Daedric beasts back to oblivion. Shoot straight. Don't let them dig through. Child. Lord Akatosh, I am yours. I pledge my blades and my soul to your service. I am your shield and your vengeance, now and for all time. Oh, that's different.
So that's it? We did it! Wait, did I just incinerate 30-some-odd Daedra? Certainly seems like it. I feel weird. Lighter. This place, I can see it now. It's more than stone. There's purpose and fury. And light. A stiff breeze. And fireflies. I'm babbling. This is all very new. You're gawking again. Oh yes. I can hear Molog Ball howling. He's not at all pleased. I believe the brazier is well and truly out of his reach. So, now I wait, I guess. I probably should have brought a book or something. Yes, you can forget this place. And me. I've left instructions with a member of my order. He'll ensure that the brazier stays out of the history books. All you need to do is stay quiet. This is the part where you nod and take an oath of silence. Looks that way. We did good work, you and I, but it's far from over. The city is still overrun, and without me there to leave severed heads on cultists' doorsteps, it might get worse. Look after the people. Eight know they can't do it themselves. Now? I guess I wait. Don't worry, there's more to this place than you can see. I'll keep busy, trust me. For what it's worth, I'll never forget you. And I'm going to live a very, very long time. So, yes, take care, all right? Ah, it's good to see you again. I can scarcely believe we survived, let alone succeeded. The eight have been kind. To you and I, at least. Yes, I, I believe it is. Akatash be praised. Molag Ball will lash out. But the dragon fires are safe, thanks to you. I only wish the price had been less dear. Centuries of lonely service is a heavy burden. I will pray for the Drake, and for you. Why not have a seat? Stay and talk a while. Truthfully, I'll rest, at least for a while. These last few months have been the longest of my life. It feels like years since I just sat down. At my age, what would I do? Where would I go? No, no, my life is here. There are wounds to mend and relics to protect. And then there is the Drake. She committed herself to city, body and soul. I couldn't bear to look at myself if I did less. No, not in this lifetime. Perhaps if we're very lucky, we'll see her again in Aetherius. But we needn't rush to meet her. I suspect she'll be here in Mundus for a very long time. My patience grows thin, sister. We've had our differences, but when have you ever known me to be wrong? Yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. A few more moments, then. You're finally here! Oh, you stink of blood. But I thought you'd smell fouler with everything you've been through. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. Absolutely nothing. And everything. How would you like to help a humble moth priest and the Empress Regent herself with an urgent, even critical task?
One destined for you. Daedra have overrun White Gold Tower. We would flee were it not for a certain relic left in the halls above. We need to get it back. The existence of the Empire depends upon it. The relic is an Elder Scroll, sequestered in the library of the White Gold Tower. It's surrounded by minions of Molog Ball, but they can't get to it. Not yet. We hope to get to it first, but we need you to take us through the throne room to reach it. It was written in the Elder Scroll in question. I was its keeper, and am destined to become so again, with your help. A good question. The scroll doesn't help with that part. But you've trusted the words of others before, on whim or by necessity. You could leave, I suppose. Doom us all. Doom my cat. I like my cat. You're supposed to help me! It's very old, very secret, and it told me of events to come. It told me that we have great work to do, you and I. It's easier to show you. Come, we have a throne room and an Elder Scroll to reclaim. I'm the last of the Moth Priests remaining in the Imperial City, and with me are Empress Regent Clivia Tharn and her personal guard. Tending to their studies, I'm sure. Elsewhere in the world, Elder Scrolls and the Daedra don't mix. I left it here before the Daedra invaded. And not carelessly, on purpose. You'll know more in time. Come, let's retrieve it.
The scroll is here. Where? There's nothing. This is where I left it. Give me a moment. You'll see. The Elder Scroll! It's not ready. Don't touch it! Regent. Empress Regent, I arrived as soon as I could. How can the Imperial Legion serve your highness? General Valerius, I need you to spare me a regiment of your elite. Aye. Of course, but for what purpose? Imperial City is crawling with Daedra. Just a single regiment. Have them report personally to me. I require the utmost secrecy about this. They will serve in your name. As you wish, Empress Regent. to do today. How can I help you? My officers report your requested Legion members directed to your personal service. May I ask why? Do you intend to feed them to the Daedra as well? Mind your tone. I already apologized for the incident. I am no strategist, but your men did not die in vain. I won't grant this request. It's an order from your Empress, General. With all due respect. I know of the personal posting you made, General. Wasn't your daughter injured in a recent attack? Is that a threat? The healers say we can't risk moving her out of the city, and those guards... ...are the only thing keeping the Daedra away from your mansion. But they're also a waste of military resources. I'd be happy to leave them be if you cooperate. Consider it, General. The plane meld is as majestic as it is terrible. I guess it's mostly just terrible. Prepare for battle!
her before she slays us all! Regent, these troops, they're nonsensical. They are necessary. The waterfront district must be defended. Empress, that district holds no strategic value. You'd be sending these men to die for nothing. Why do you continue to oppose me? Why do you insist on playing general? I must refuse this, Empress. Then the Elder Council will hear about the extra postings, your questionable command decisions. Get in line. This means war, General. You are destined to face Clivia Tharn. said I'd be skewered if... Never mind. I'll take this. Follow me! I'm sorry you had to face her alone. I read in the scroll there would have been consequences for me had I gotten involved in that battle. Had to time that portal just right. Tomorrow is the first time in many years that I won't have anything to do. No tasks, no duties, nothing prophesied anyway. Have you ever had rot meth? I've always wanted to try rot meth. Oh, maybe a trip to Valenwood is in order. White Gold Tower belongs to the Empire again, but there's much work left to do. Where has the true Clivia gone? Oh, I must speak to the Imperial Generals. They'll be interested to know a Daedra has been leading them. So many questions left to ask. The scroll stated the Empress Regent was a shadow of herself, that she would become an enemy to her own people. It didn't say she was a Daedric minion of Molag Ball. 
Perhaps it's time for another reading. Not entirely. My vision waxes and wanes, as my day of final reading is yet to come. Let's hope the scroll's meaning is different now, or at least clearer. The text on every Elder Scroll is fluid, reflecting the changing nature of reality itself. They're like cats. The final section of this particular scroll beckoned me to action, refusing to change no matter how often I read it. It was... blank.